I'm Melissa. I'm Marlena. This is my name sign. It's nice to meet you. You as well. You're from New York, right? Yes, I've been in Rochester, New York for 23 years. I was born and raised there. I currently live in Baltimore, Maryland, and have lived there for the past two years. I really love it there, but Rochester will always be in my heart. I know Rochester is your true home, but I wonder, does Gallaudet feel like your new home? Big time. Growing up, my daily life and environment were so different compared to life in DC, the DMV, DC, Maryland, Virginia. In the DMV, pets are huge. I love pets, especially dogs. Another thing is Ocean City. I love going every summer and enjoying the boardwalk, the waves, the salty air. There's nothing better than the food there, especially the well-known crabs and seafood. I love seafood. There are also great places to hike and go to. The cool thing about Gallaudet is that it's part of the DMV, DC, Maryland, and Virginia. So living in this area, I also have access to the whole area, not just DC. You're able to go to all three places. So I wanted to ask, I know you live on campus, but what do you love about DC life? There are more arts, museums, and not just that. I don't have to bring my car. I can take the metro or use a bike. Yes, the metro. So transportation is a huge difference. I don't have to worry about parking, which is a huge boon. I always go to the monument often, especially at night to watch the stars and meditate and release tension. If I'm stressed, that's where I go. Mostly though, it's the museums. They're beautiful, and there's so much culture here to appreciate. Yes. It's so much to appreciate. I mean, DC is such a cool area, and many people don't realize DC has so many deaf-owned businesses yes. or deaf-friendly businesses, like the Signing Starbucks, Mozzarella, and other places in the area. I've been to the Signing Starbucks and Mozzarella, but I've heard of more like the brewery. Streetcar 82. Yes, I've been there and it's nice, but I still have more places on my list to check off. What is your experience being in those places? In the Starbucks, when I got there, it was surprising to see a hearing employee who knew how to sign. I didn't have to write things down or use my phone, which is what I've always had to do growing up in Rochester. I would write, point at the numbers, and here I didn't have to do any of that. They didn't respond awkwardly to my being deaf. They just knew what to do. It didn't feel like I was perceived differently, but it's the same as them. And that's what I really liked about it. That's DC, home. Based on our chat, you really gained a lot from this area. For those who come to Gallaudet and live in DC, it doesn't always mean that they leave their home and their life to dive into the area. It's more about how you can really learn more about yourself and become more confident and use the tools you've gained and bring them back to your communities to share that experience and knowledge. It's all about your contributions. All I can say is Gallaudet contributes a lot to their students. Gallaudet sees that their students are capable, even if students have internal barriers, and Gallaudet will continue to break those. Some people might fear that going to Gallaudet means you'll be immersed in just one world, but that's not true. You dive in, become strong and confident as a person, and then come back and continue giving to your communities. Right. I'm curious, how did you get to Gallaudet? I know there's an interesting background to your story, not the typical story of going to Gallaudet right after high school. You had a journey, correct? Yes, I applied to RIT, Gallaudet, and several other universities. When I got accepted to RIT, I had mixed feelings. With Gallaudet, there's the benefit of a lot of access for the deaf communities, while RIT is a larger university with more similarities to the hearing world. I was also hesitant to leave my home state. After some thinking, I decided to go to RIT for three years and major in business technology for computers. Before I started my business courses, I started my first semester in the CIMT program, Computer Intelligence Machine Technology. As time went on, I realized the CIMT wasn't a good fit for me. The whole reason I went into that program was that I loved working with my hands and tinkering with things. Working with computer screens wasn't for me. In the spring semester, I took more business classes and that was it for me. Being able to be creative with computers and create articles, newspapers, and letters, as well as being able to design things that sparked my creative mind, I loved it. After three years, I took two internships at the school I attended growing up, 
RSD, Rochester School for the Deaf. Time went by, and I gained experience with multiple departments. I learned firsthand what real life would look like and worked inside the offices, working with people. And as time went on, I realized something was missing. I felt like I wasn't sure what I really wanted. I knew I wanted to work with people because previously I worked with students, tutoring them as an ASL teacher and a teaching assistant for CDIs and ASL teachers who were learning and NSP, new signers program for those who don't know ASL and need to learn. I enjoyed working with people and time went by. One person told me I should be a CDI or an ASL teacher. I thought about it, but felt there was something more. I talked to my mom and wanted to see my original IEP, what I wanted to be when I grew up as a kid. It said that I wanted to be an ASL teacher. How old were you when you put that in your IEP? I was maybe 17 or 18. So it was a while before that point in time. Yes, it was in high school. This was after four or five years when I realized that maybe I should be an ASL teacher. I felt that this was the path I was supposed to be on. I went to Monroe Community College, which had a deaf studies program. The first semester went by, but I noticed there wasn't a lot of access. There were teachers criticizing me and my culture, and I felt this is not the right place for me to progress in my field, especially with hearing peers and hearing teachers at a hearing university. I talked to my mom and she said, maybe your last option is to go to Gallaudet. And I had to agree. Gallaudet had access, they have my major, and they have deaf professors. It felt right. You mentioned that previously, you grew up hesitant to go to Gallaudet and preferred RIT. I'm curious about what your resistance was. What triggered that? At the beginning, I was kind of standoffish. I thought the hearing world was better and that the deaf world was something that I didn't want to be in. Hearing society is very oppressive towards deaf people and I played into it. I grew up with that. I'm not sure why. I have a deaf family, but it was a way of thinking that was ingrained within me. I went to a very small deaf school and I felt so trapped. I felt like with hearing people, there were more options. I thought Gallaudet University did not have a spark and it wouldn't have an impact on my life experience. In contrast, I felt that RIT would impact my life with the blend of deaf, hard of hearing and hearing students, not to mention the international students that attend. With Gallaudet, I viewed it as a place with a large number of students who have large deaf families or went to larger deaf schools and that was a better place for them, not me. I felt like if I went, I might be left out, put down, or rejected. I was afraid to try, and I wanted to stay with what I knew. I've been to RIT before, and I knew what it looked like. I'd never been to Gallaudet. It was what's comfortable for you. Basically, I was really hesitant and didn't want to go. There were friends who convinced me to go and visit for homecoming in 2016, and it was interesting. They always said it was different as a student. Homecoming was fun, but I had no interest in being a student. My friends tried to convince me to transfer, but I denied them. I held the hearing world in high regard, but now looking back, I'm glad I came and gave it an opportunity. I'm happy that I came and that people welcomed me, even knowing I'd been resistant to attend in the past. Time went on and I'm so happy I came to Gallaudet and saw with my own eyes the classes, the people, the daily life, and even what is out in the city and surrounding areas. It opened my eyes a lot and I had to break out of my comfort zone. I had to open the box I lived in and now I'm still here. If not for that, I might not have stayed for so long. Right, you felt welcomed, therefore you decided right. to stay. I can relate to that. I have a deaf family and grew up in mainstream schooling, but I was resistant to Gallaudet. I felt like I was too good for it. I felt like I was fine in the hearing world. Once I came, it felt like home. And I feel like Gallaudet gives us the skills to be a better person, to be able to go out in the world. People don't realize that about Gallaudet. It gives you all the skills you need to become confident within yourself. Sometimes it's so subtle, but it's there, and you don't realize it until later. I think you have to open your eyes to see these things. That's the beautiful part of life. Your journey has a purpose. Life is not just to get from point A to point B. You can have twists and turns and end up in the same place. Right. What would you say to those who are nervous about Gallaudet welcoming them? 
I would tell them that people here will always welcome you, no matter where you come from. We have international students, students from hearing families or deaf families, those who went to big deaf schools and small deaf schools, students who went to mainstream programs or alone in hearing schools. Everyone has a different journey and it's okay to be shy when you arrive. Eventually, you'll break out of your comfort zone and you'll bloom just like a flower. Your character and your journey will change. You might change your identity or keep the same and that's okay. Gallaudet will impact you and I'll be here if you need me. I will support you and I want you here on campus. If you need anything, just reach out to me. If you're a Gallaudet student, feel free. Regardless of your identity and journey, Gallaudet has a place for you, period. Right. I look forward to following your journey here at Gallaudet. Thank you.